Hey peoples, today I'm going to be showing you how to perfect one-handed backhand. Um, I kind of felt bad uh, doing a two-handed backhand video when I realized there are people with one-handed backhands. And this video is for you. And remember, boom, hit that like button and let's go. Woo! All right, people, so for every single shot, you need a split stack. You can't forget the split step, okay? You can't forget the split step. It sets you up for any shot you want. For every single shot, it has a unit turn. It's where you split, and you turn your hips to move the racket and your arms. But keep in mind, you're not moving your racket, no. You're just moving your hips, which will turn your body, which will turn your hands, and your arm which will turn the racket. Okay, so for the one turn back in, you're gonna start off with your hand on the throw of the your left hand on the throw of the racket. So you're ready for a forehand or a backhand. Now with the throw of the racket, your hand on the throw of the racket, your left hand, you're gonna it's gonna be there for a long time. Unlike the two hand backhand. You're gonna split. You're gonna turn. Okay, just like this. Just like that, where your racket is facing the other side, the left side, so maybe like the curtain, maybe the wall, doesn't matter, turn, and you're gonna drop, drop. When you drop, you're gonna step at the same time. Now, when you're dropping, you don't want a sudden drop. No, not like the two in the back end. You want it so you just flow the shot, you flow through the shot. You flow, it's all one movement. You have to make sure when you're doing that drop, you're flowing. Because when you do the drop too dramatically, that can make your shot shorter. It can make your shot into net. Okay, on to the next one. All right guys, so first step, from the grip of the racket until you basically, you're like this much away from making contact. It's pretty simple. Turn, step, step, step. Okay, now keep in mind, I really think you guys should watch Roger Federer because he flows through the shot, okay? Now, a huge, huge important part of hitting a one-handed backhand is going through the shot, okay? So during a match, if you're playing against a one-handed backhand person, it's most likely that you will hit to their backhand. Because when you hit deep high every shots to a one-handed backhand person in like the intermediate amateur level, they're most likely going to hit a short ball. But if you go through the shot, that won't happen. You'll get it past the service line, maybe even the blue line, or a 60 foot court. So you really want to make sure you're going through the shot. That will, that's, that's the main part of hitting a one hand back end because you have to get that depth to stay in the point. Okay? Flowing through the shot, not dramatic, 
slow, I'm going through this path. One more time, I'll show you guys, and then we'll get on to hit it, okay? Turn, step, drop, hit through, shut, and then step with your left foot. Guys, I really advise you to rewind these videos so you really get those key steps in, okay? Now we're gonna get on to the hitting. Let's go. All right, guys. Let's get serious. Let's go. Hope you liked it. See you in the next one. Bye!